So I found this YouTube thread really inspiring, and so I'm adding my piece to the library. I do have to mention that I searched quite a while on the best way to build exit manifolds and found that Mr. Texan's, Mr. Native Texan's design was a great starting point, so thank you for that. Now, this is a system I built for the Sugar Shack, an intentional community in the heart of urban Los Angeles. We have two gardens, one on the roof and one on the ground level, and we're using this system to manually water both of them. It's not a potable system, though I am planning some filtration upgrades as budget and time allow. Uh, this is a four-barrel system. Each barrel is 55 gallons, so it's 220 gallons total. Um, if you notice, it's kind of a fun sign. It says powdered sugar on, uh, on one of the barrels, and we thought that would be kind of a fun aside because the house is named the Sugar Shack. So it's sort of a little inside joke. Um, as a matter of fact, one of our housemates got the barrels for free. He was working on the set of Big Brother, the reality TV show, and they were throwing these barrels away. And so he picked them up at the end of the day, and when we got them here, they were, they were actually pretty clean, but we washed them out with organic soap just to make sure. system cost about $600 to build. Uh, most of that had to do with building the, uh, the beautiful support table, um, which is all from reclaimed wood, but, you know, just hardware and equipment, you know, uh, uh, um, screws and things like that. And also the table is um, waterproofed with penofin, which is a marine-grade... Uh, oil oil based finish you know gives it some real beauty and waterproofs it a uh, system pulls from two downspouts one is from the peaked roof uh, about 80 feet square uh, the second point is the primary source it pulls from about 2,000 square feet of flat roof um, all of that drains down the single hole uh, since there is a lot of water coming through here I saw that we needed filters at more than one point along the inflow as the entrance to the flat roof downspout um, I, I put up this piece of old door screen. This is actually the second generation screen. Originally I put up screen right up against the hole and that clogged up and caused some minor flooding. So the new screen uh, went in. And so far it's worked, worked out really beautifully even in the face of some pretty big storms. The water catchment comes down the downspouts which I reconfigured to gravity feed into these four inch filter baskets. Uh, I picked the baskets up at Home Depot for about five bucks cut up some pressing pad which I picked up for about three dollars uh, stapled and pulled the pressing pad taut over the baskets with rubber bands and these have worked out really well to keep out debris and bugs and just need to be emptied out after storms uh, here's the water and the system system's been full for most of the winter now uh, a couple months about three tenths of an inch of rain will fill the system to capacity and we had one storm this year that dumped about three inches in a couple hours uh, we do have some algae in the system, which is actually good for the plants. Um, the, the darker barrels are slow in growth, I believe, but, you know, and it's actually good for the plants because it provides nutrients to have algae, but at the same time, it could start to smell and clog up the exit manifold. So the solution in the short term is to drop about two teaspoons of chlorine in each of the barrels. That's a low enough level that it's not going to affect the plants, but I'd rather do it more naturally and not have to deal with chlorine. So we're going to be adding rock or sand filtration uh, at some point soon. I put in a half inch hole in the tops of the barrels that don't have inflows to relieve air pressure and enable the water to fill uh, to find its level across the system. I put a little old screen over each of these holes to keep out bugs and debris and that's working out really well. Uh, each barrel has a threaded two inch bung hole in the underside. I screwed a male bushing into each barrel's dung hole, just a PVC bushing. And for making these connections watertight, I recommend silicone cock plus Teflon plumber's tape wrapped around the male threading, and that'll lock it in. Here's the exit manifold. It's, about, it's built from uh, one inch PVC pipe. I have an insul uh, isolation valve under each barrel so that any barrel in the system can be isolated if we need to, if, we need to, uh, you know, if there's any problems. And I have a cap on the end of the manifold that can be cut off later for attaching other water features. For connecting PVC pipes, I use Christie's uh, Red Hot Blue Glue. I use two bottles, which run about five bucks a piece. Building the manifolds this way ensures a really watertight connection among all the barrels. Uh, we, we're already got, we've already gotten a lot more water this year than we can hold in the barrels. Anticipating this, I built an overflow manifold using one and a quarter inch PVC pipe off the backs of two of the barrels. Uh, this then empties into a two inch pipe, which runs into a piece of modified gutter and down into the drain. 
You always want to make sure that the overflow pipe is wide enough to prevent bottlenecking and back flushing. Even with the uh, that huge storm earlier this year, the overflow has done really well. It's done done beautifully. I sealed each of the overflow holes uh, from barrels with a PVC bulkhead. The male and female threaded parts are locked together with silicone caulk, rubber washers, and Teflon tape. Ideally, the overflow would run into another water feature on the property, like a rain garden or an aquaponics system. But that's tough here because the property is on an urban lot with very little open space and a lot of concrete. So for now, I have it running back into the gutter and down the drain. Later on, I may attach the overflow to an aquaponics system. It's going to make more beneficial use of the water, purify it, and expand our capacity. Um, there are some real benefits to this design. All the barrels are in series. This allows the escape manifold to remain full of water. Water instantly finds its level across all the barrels and fills the capacity without bottlenecks. I also built the support table to be multifunctional. The table was a lot of additional work um, and definitely some more money, but it was worth it. The table elevates the barrels, which gives us more water pressure. You get about a pound per square inch for every foot of, uh, foot of elevation on the barrels. So when the barrels are full, we now get about six pounds per square inch of pressure. I thought that if I had to build the table in this showcase spot, you know, why not do it beautifully? So the truss work on the table strengthens, strengthens the table, but it will also provide trellising for plants that will grow up around the table as the years go by. Uh, the table also gives much more support, and it provides a single-level surface, which, uh, you know, I've tied into the ground with a level bed of sand and concrete pier pylons. Uh, there are some modifications that I plan to make to the system to make it work better. One is that I want to tie down the barrels with steel cable for earthquake safety, you know, this being Southern California. Uh, another is that I want to paint the PVC pipes since they can degrade over, over time in UV rays. Another modification is that I want to add stone or sand filtration to slow the growth of the algae, as I mentioned. And we're also going to be coating the, flats, uh, the flat rooftop in a rubber material. We're doing that for a lot of reasons, but one of the side benefits is that the rainwater is going to be cleaner when it goes into the system. And finally, as I mentioned before, I'm hoping to attach the system to an aquaponics feature. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this inspires you. If so, check out verticology.com. Uh, like us on uh, like verticology on Facebook. Um, and I am going to be putting out an ebook on how to build water catchment systems soon. Uh, that'll be available on verticology.com and through the, through the Facebook page. Uh, if you're interested in getting a water catchment system or any of my other designs and permaculture systems, or in getting consulting on your own uh, do-it-yourself projects, feel free to contact me through the Verticology site. And do check back often, because I am in the early launch stages of Verticology. Uh, i got new stuff coming online continuously, uh, continuously upgrading. So again, thank you, and uh, be well.